Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nestin Padasale. In this video, I'm going to provide you a complete information about this National Postdoctoral Fellowship sponsored by Science and Engineering Research Board. For this academic year, the application form will be beginning on July 3rd until August 10th you can apply for this particular fellowship program. The main objective for this particular program is to identify the motivated young researcher and provide them support for doing research in frontier areas in science and engineering. So once you got selected into this program, you will be uh, working under a mentor and also this particular training program will be providing you a platform so that you can establish yourself as an independent researcher. Regarding the eligibility condition, you should be an Indian citizen and you should apply the PhD, you should have obtained your PhD degree or MD degree or MS degree from any recognized university. So those who had submitted a PhD degree, uh, PhD thesis or who are waiting for getting a PhD degree means you are also eligible to apply. The only difference is that you will be getting a lower fellowship. Okay. So till the qualifying degree a lower fellowship. So once you got awarded the PhD degree means you will be getting the usual fellowship of this NPDF. Okay. So those two who are waiting to get their PhD degree, they are also eligible to apply. There is an age limit is there. The upper age limit is 35 years. Okay. So they had given at the time of submission of application, age will be calculated by the taking the date of closure of this particular call. So you can cal calculate your age up to August 10. So there is online software has been available. So type your date of birth and type this particular age. It will be automatically calculating your age. And age relaxation up to 5 years is given for candidates who are belonging to SC, ST, OVC, physically challenged and at the same time human candidate. So you can apply for this particular end period till your 40 years and next thing this particular fellowship can be availed by you only once uh, in your career okay so if you're already uh, selected for this NPDF means you can't able to avail for this particular year it will be provided only once and the mentor under whom you will be working he should be holding a regular academic or research position okay and also he should be holding his PhD degree in science or engineering and your mentor shall not have more than two serve NPDF fellow at any given time so ask your mentor whether he is already guiding any of the NPDF okay he should not have more than two okay and also uh, nature and duration of support will be steady so this particular fellowship is only available you can be able to avail this fellowship only if you are working in India and also that you can implement this particular fellowship in case if you are working in any academic institution national laboratories or any other R&D institution means you can receive this particular NPD fellowship and the host institution means the institution in the institute in which you are going to work as an NPDF should provide you everything starting from administrative support and infrastructure support everything will be provided from their host institution itself okay and next important thing is that the fellow will not be allowed to work with a PhD guide or co-guide so you can't able to work as an NPDF under your PhD guide or a co-guide okay you should work in some other person at the same time it is not normally not uh, sorry it is normally not available at the same department so in case if you got your PhD degree from genetic department genetics department means you can't able to work as an NPDF in the same department instead of that you can and go for some other department like proteomics or genomics at the same time you should not work in the same institution also friends okay so <clears throat> Please note on all those things. These things are really important. And also this particular NPDF is a temporary post only. So for a period of two years, you'll be getting a support from this. Uh, next thing, this is the uh, fellowship that you'll be getting. As a salary or fellowship, <coughs> You will be getting 55,000 per month and in case if you had submitted your thesis and waiting for your PhD award means you will be getting 35,000 and research grant will be given for up to 2 lakhs per annum. You will be getting a 2 lakhs of research grant per annum and overhead charges will be provided to you that is 1 lakh will be given as a overhead charges per annum. Okay, so this particular research grant which you are getting you can utilize for purchasing minor equipment, consumable like pipers and other uh, things. Uh, chemicals what are the thing and contingencies and domestic travel you can use this particular research grant so there is no provision for providing research personal support under this team which means you can't able to take few research assistant under this particular scheme 
okay and also the fellow is expected to undertake the research objective by himself or herself during the entire duration of fellowship okay so fellows are not eligible to receive any other fellowship from any government and non government source during the time of the tenure of fellowship so for a period of 2 years once you got such as a npdf means you your income should be coming from this npdf you are not uh, you can't able to get fellowship any other government institute like csr fellowship or dst or dbt whatever it might be even from non government sources also you can't able to get this particular fellowship once you have got such as npdf okay okay in case if you want to work in some other destination ap apart from the implementing institute or host institute mean you need to get a concern letter from sir okay and you can work uh, away from the implementing institute only for a period of 8 months 8 weeks not more than that okay so the selection and mode of application as i mentioned you earlier in this particular notification like www.serveonline.in they will be released in the website okay so application form you need to submit along with application form you need to send your research proposal in the research proposal you need to highlight the objective of the research work which you are going to undertake okay and also you need to identify a suitable mentor under whom the proposed research would be carried out in case if you are working on cancer biology means find out those person who are experienced in cancer biology you can in, you can take you can select any institute across india okay those institute in kgn rnd so how you need to apply so first you need to register and once you got registered the login details will be provided to you and after login you need to fill up the profile details that are present under user profile which includes submitting your bio data photo and the institute address like that and next that your mentor so the mentor the person from the whom you are going to work he should also be registered in the system same like you okay so he is having a separate uh, mentor profile he need to fill up okay details like it which include project title they have given a restriction in character count so please note that you need to submit project title maximum character of 500 and project summary maximum character of 3000 keywords you need to produce objective of the process and the same time you need to provide a expected outcome uh, output and the outcome of the proposal okay so next thing with regarding to work methodology like materials and methods like we'll stop chemical what are the list of experiments that you are planning research plan for a period of 2 years you need to submit everything in a single pdf not more than 3 pages okay and also uh, same as i mentioned you earlier in this particular point your men mentor should be registered in the system following the same procedure as a principal investigator so he need to submit all the detail which include bio data photo and institute address what are the document that are required uh, to apply for this particular program means first they will be asking you to submit the bio data for which they had given template template is available for all those things so download the template and fill the following thing age proof certificate you need to submit which might be 10th standard or 12th standard mark statement qualification education degree category certificate in case if you are going to apply under acst obc means you need to submit the category certificate undertaking certificate and other a certificate that you need to get from your mentor and host institute so first fix up in which host institute you want to work as a npdf and select the mentor first and then do all the procedure and you need to submit a short resume of your mentor okay and on for in online portal the form has been given so just check if you can't able to find please do tell me and the cv of the mentor say in the template has been given next a uh, plagiarism undertaking everything you need to submit so yeah uh, this is what a list of things so the uh, last date is august 10 so try to apply as soon as possible so thank you friends thanks for watching this video